And how about the lions? Isn't the journey there and back too much for them, too stressful? Well, now we can ask them. Or rather, we can measure their stress levels. Behavioral scientist Emmanuel Bermelin explains how it works. Okay, Manny. Okay. Move on, move on. Move with the finger. Yeah. A prepared roll of cotton wool is saturated with lion saliva. Okay. Sahara goes first. This is the first saliva test on a circus lion. It's a first for Martin, too. Okay. That is Sahara. This is Sahara. Sahara, so be the desert. Sahara, like the desert. And the next one. Getting these specimens takes a lot of trust on both sides. But they'll give an unprecedented insight into the animal's psyche. The saliva reflects the level of stress. Oh, I've got a good bit of saliva there. Come on, Ruthie. It contains minute amounts of cortisol, a typical stress hormone in humans and in animals. The results were what Martin expected. Every lion has a different cortisone level, but they're very similar to those in the wild and all well below anything that could be recognized as stress. Kiara, over. Kiara, go on. Kiara, over. Kiara, over. Kiara, over. So far, so good. The lions aren't suffering from stress. But now they face the journey home, back to Munich, to the winter quarters of Circus Krona. How will they take it? It means 800 kilometers in convoy on the Autobahn. They have walkie-talkies to communicate. Martin's lions are in their usual mobile cage. But Mum Susan's dangerous predator is allowed in the cabin. A break at a service station. Martin brought drinking water along in canisters, just to be on the safe side. But a quick test tells him the water here tastes better. His lions will probably feel the same. So the water from Monte Carlo can be ditched. The animals look calm enough. This short diversion seems welcome. And Martin's presence tells them everything is OK. The water Martin tasted for them meets with their approval. And if they're using their tongues anyway... Break over. The journey goes on from the warm Mediterranean coast northwards to Germany and back to winter. A familiar place with familiar people. A warm reception and congratulations from the folks who stayed home. And now the animals. They know perfectly well their home, long before the sides of the truck are taken off. Back where they belong. The long journey seems to have done them no harm. Or has it? A second saliva test will tell. This time with a vet on hand. And Martin won't use his fingers this time. He's tired from the journey and he doesn't want to take any risks. But the lion's not used to the pincers and the cotton wool roll 
lands under his tongue. The lions don't particularly like the vet. Some of them have recognized her and refused to take the test. But there are enough specimens to make a comparison. In some cases, cortisone levels are higher than before the journey. In some cases, lower. But, and this is the point, they're well below stress levels. The saliva test makes it clear this was a stressless journey for the lions. You can't say the same for Martin, but everyone's happy to be home. Big cats don't have to be in the wild. If they're born into other worlds, they can be happy there. They can be at ease and contented. But without movement, without physical training, they would decline, waste away. They need to be kept busy and they need to be challenged like children at school. It keeps them lively and healthy. It gives them confidence. Good animal trainers know that. They talk to their animals, they learn with them, and share their lives with them. That is the philosophy of the Lacey family. <laughs>